How's everybody doing? Hello, Cindy Neal. Oh, wrong glasses. Let me get my other glasses. Can't see. Can't see with those. All right, here we are. There we go. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Nebby, how are you? I've been running around. Hi, Sue. Deanna Church. Hello, Deanna. Hi, Sue. Irene. Randy girl. Um, I, Deanna, I sent you another um, invoice. I added the other book um, to it for you. All right. Margaret. Uh, no, because when I went to get my new glasses, I still couldn't see out of them close up. So now they're going to make me get another eye exam. Hi, Joanne. Hey, Christy girl. Hi, Trisha. You're welcome, honey. Hey, Katie. You can't, you have to do what? Spending time with your, aww. Awesome. Enjoy your visit. Hi, Myrna. Yeah, enjoy your visit with your grandma. That's much more important than a sale. Absolutely. I'm just going to um, get on my iPad here. Turn down the volume. There we go. All right. Let's go home. There I am. Okay. I do, I had, well, you could see I have some patriotic stuff um, over there. Hi, Deborah Jones. Oh, from Wales. I am doing very well. How are you, Deborah? Hi, Tiger. Hi, Pamela. I know. So, um, it was so, I was so upset because I was so looking forward to my new glasses. So I, she goes, here you go. So I put them on and she goes, how is it, you know, distance wise? I said, oh, I could see good. So then she gives me this piece of paper and it was horrible. And I said, the, that's de terrible. I said, I don't know what happened. I said, but. I said, I can't read that. It's like blurry. I said, I can see that better out of my glasses I have now than I can out of the new ones. Yeah, I'm like, what the heck? I know. You know why? Because I was filming a haul video before I got on here. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to do a haul video. Exactly. I said, they made these this prescription too strong. So she checked to make sure like they didn't mess up the prescription, I guess. I don't know how she checks that, but um, you're lurking from work, Maria? All righty. Yeah. So, and then she had me try these round lenses on top, um, two, two different ones. And it did just, that just made it worse. I don't know what that was all about. So they're having me go back for another eye exam. And I said, well, I don't have to pay for it, do I? Because I just had my yearly. She said, nope. I said, okay. Hi, Jeffrey. How you doing, my buddy? So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I have to go back, I think, Tuesday. Hi, Maria. How you feeling, lovey? I know you're in bed. Oh, here comes Banks. He must knew I put the camera on. I always wanted to, hi, Pamela. I always wanted to wear, oh, um, contacts, but for some reason, the eye doctor talks me out of it. I don't know why, but then they say you have to go for, um, like a little, 
uh, kind of like a, um, not a training thing, but to teach you how to put them in it. No, you're not getting on the table, in and out of your eyes and all that stuff. So I'm like, eh, the hell with it. Just give me the stinking glasses. <laughs> Hi, Jen. How you doing, honey? No, get down. No, no, get down. I'm not playing with you today. He's going to, oh my God, he's going to drive me crazy. Watch. Oh, your eyes are too dry now? Hi, Brittany. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Virginia. <laughs> I was just finishing up my haul video, and him and Sophie were chasing each other, and he was running right through all of my glassware that was on the floor in the living room. I'm like, oh, my God, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, that stinks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got it. We definitely. Hi, Mary Dugan. We definitely have to get the thumbs up. Because. Hi, Annabella Ferreira. I'm good. Um, I only have uh, 38 thumbs up and there's 111 people here. We we gotta we gotta do something about the thumbs ups. Hi Belinda, how are you? Wanna come say hi? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hi Carrie, how are you? <laughs> Yeah, she's doing her laundry. They don't have, um, they have a couple things that they have to do in the basement with their wash tubs before they can um, do their laundry. So, <laughs> hi, Lisa Shields. Hi, Ginger Girl Vintage. <laughs> Um, I only did that last week because I had birthday parties. That's the only reason that I had it at two last week. Yep, she's in the basement. Hi, Midge. Hi, Anita. How are you? Happy Saturday. Yes. Hot day here in the north. Yeah, it's been pretty nice here as well. I had to put my air on again today. It was very, very warm in the house. These are not my new glasses. These are my cheater glasses, unfortunately. Miss Pamela Blanchard. How are you doing, my little love bug? 95. Holy cow. Yep, these are Dollar Tree cheater glasses. Um, this way I can look dead on and I don't have to go like this to read the chat with my real glasses. <laughs> Hi, Cindy J. Oh, you had those? Yeah. Hi, Linda. How you doing, love? Hi, Lorraine. How you liking your new apartment? 84 in Kentucky. I have a friend that lives in Kentucky. She was my high school best friend. She uh, Last I knew, she lived in Louisville. But um, she doesn't really speak to anybody anymore. I don't know why, but she just like... Yep. Yeah. You like it? Good. That's good. Awesome. Okay, 71 thumbs up and 142 people. 84 in Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Hi, Lori Gerdo. I was looking at your last name while I was saying Alabama. 
<laughs> Hello, College Debt Circus. Hi, Todd. 86 in Atlanta. Alexa, what's the temperature today? Right now, it's 74 degrees Fahrenheit. 74. Tonight, expect a low of 65 degrees. Enjoy your afternoon. It was like in the 80s the last two days and now 74 today. But it's like a, it's a muggy heat today. All right, well, I guess we'll get started. I do have quite a few items. Um, I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven offer ups. Uh, so I'm just going to, I'm going to start off with a bang. Um, uh, for those, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, first, please consider subscribing. I would really, really appreciate it and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you've never bought from one of my sales, it's very important that you email me your information. Uh, Tippy Winks Vintage with the Blue Wrench uh, has it uh, listed in the chat what you need to do to register. Hi, Lori Wortley. Because of the scary bugs. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um, so you will have to pre-register um, before you can um, put an offer in on anything, so... Anywho, let's get started. <clears throat> I have um, a beautiful amber uh, fairy lamp. Uh, it is just one of the round ones. It's not real big. It's not as big as the ones from HomeCo. Um, it's like, let me see. It's about five inches in diameter. And it is, oh, four and a half inches tall. So five by four. And it is 24 dollars, 24 dollars, number 51. 24 dollars, number 51 for the fairy lamp. All right. And I see Myrna Spratt for the fairy lamp. Thank you very much, Myrna. I appreciate it. All right. Number 51 goes to Myrna. Okay. All right. Next I have... Um, I have a beautiful uh, amber-colored bud vase. It has a pretty swirl pattern in the uh, stem. Um, it has a, like a little manufacturing uh, little divot right here. It's not a chip. It's just uh, when they made it, it, it made like a little like divot. I don't know, but it's not sharp. It's not a chip. Um, and it has this really pretty, like an optic kind of a, a pattern in the glass. It's very pretty. It is um, just about eight inches tall. And it's $10, number nine. $10, number nine. All right, let's do these. Oh, when, uh, hi, Leanne. I didn't see you pop in. All right. Next, I have this pair of, um, they. you hang them on the wall. Um, they're these pretty, they have the little holes here, and you would string your string or your wire um, to hang them. I There's a pair of them. And they're both in really great condition. Um, there's no, um, broken leaves. Oh, no, wait a minute. One of them, 
one of them is broken right here. See that? So just like the tip of it came off. But the other one is uh, perfect. And um, you get the set of them for $12, number 29. $12 for the pair, number 29. Um, there's no markings on them, so I don't know um, who makes them. Um, okay, I see Cheryl Hoskins. Hello, Cheryl. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, what number was that? 29. Hey, Southern Mermaid, how are you? All right. Okay, I have a little a little figurine. Uh, she's uh, from 1980. She is a little cutie. Would you look at her? Oh, my goodness. She is adorable. Watering the flowers. Nice. She is in perfect condition. <laughs> She's so cute. She uh, stands like five and a quarter inches tall. And she's $8 and she's number eight. $8, number eight, 1980. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Um, my next item. Oh, I see Linda. I see Linda for my little girl figurine. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate it. Um, I have this beautiful lemon plate. Hi, Tracy. Uh, it's made by Meadow Bell Rossetti, Chicago, hand-painted, made in Japan. And it's got those pretty blue, um, I think those are called uh, Cosmos. The flowers, are those Cosmos or Bachelor Buttons? Bachelor Buttons. I think they are. Um, but anyways, this is $10 and it's number 17. $10, number 17. Oh, got an itch. Ah, I see Miss Linda Dickerhoff. Thank you, ma'am. All right, I got you, Linda. All right. Next I have, this is gorgeous, and this was a hand-painted item. Um, the person signed it. And it is uh, Haviland, France. And it is this beautiful leaf-shaped, um, like a little trinket dish or a candy dish, nut dish. You could put cheese in it. Um, <laughs> but you can see there is the signature. And it's just gorgeous. It's $12, number 18. $12, number 18. No chips or cracks. It's in excellent condition. Cheryl Hoskins. I got you, Cheryl. I'm going to set this over here. There we go. All right. Uh, number 18. Okay, all right, um, next I have, I have this set of wooden salt and pepper shakers. These are in excellent condition. 
There isn't even like um, a scratch in the wood. Um, like they're in really great condition. Um, this one is your pepper grinder. And this one is the salt. Um, I really, I don't see any issues with these. I really don't. They're in great condition. And they are like eight and a half inches tall. Um, so these are $14 for the pair. And they're number three. $14 for the pair, number three. Hello, Vintage Scavenger. I see Jeffrey Ross for number three. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. All right. Put those over there. Oh, oh my God, you guys. I went to an estate sale today. Oh my goodness. I, I, I really did well. I got some amazing stuff and I'm debating on whether or not I want to go back tomorrow for half price day. Um, I don't know yet. I haven't decided, but yeah, got some good stuff for you guys. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, I have, oh, me too. Hi, Dana. <laughs> when did you pop in? Susical, hello. Hi, Tony. Oh my God, I love estate sales. And I, um, I also, um, hit a yard sale on the way leaving the estate sale. We're driving, me and Jessica went, right? So we're driving and all of a sudden I'm like, oh. <gasps> A yard sale. She goes, oh my God, relax. Would you like me to turn around and go back? <laughs> I go, you think? You know, absolutely. <laughs> Did you? I bet you got some great stuff. Was it really, Pamela? Oh boy. All right, I have a box of vintage recipe cards. Look at those cute little cards. Aren't those adorable? They're all the same. And then this is the back part. Exactly. Exactly. You turn. Mm-hmm. Um, so this box, I don't know how many are in here. Um, but it's. They're filled to the top, so. Uh, these are $8, number 39. $8, number 39 for the vintage recipe cards. Wow. Holy moly, Barb, that's awesome. Wow. That is great. Oh, boy, Lori, that's terrible. I'm sorry, sweetie. Hey, Margo. Right, exactly. Hi, Cam. Yeah, yep. All right, so there's that. Okay, um, I have <laughs> a vintage cork puller. Uh, this is pretty cool. It shows you on the back, like, how to do it. And let me show you the actual... Okay, so it comes like this. And there, there it is. Oh, hi, Maria. Welcome back, honey. Oh, you're lagging? Yeah, this is really, really cool. I've never seen... Um, and then you just kind of squeeze them together and put them back, back in the, uh, the holder. Um, I just thought this was really, really cool. And it is $8 and it's number 40. $8, number 40. <laughs> I like my little vintage um, 
utensils and stuff. They're cool. Oh, I bet, Dana. Me too. I would have been there too. Trust me. I know. 119 thumbs up and 214 people in here. All right. I've never seen these before. But I had to grab them because I just think they're like really neat. So in this box is, they're called potato spears. Have y'all ever seen those potato spears? I have never seen these. I just think they are so cool. And the, the instructions, the graphics are awesome. So apparently, you put the, it's supposed to be faster baking for fluffier potatoes. Right, it looks like a big giant nail. You put the, put the spear in just like it shows you right through the center of the potato and bake them. Um, but most people bake their potatoes in the microwave nowadays. But um, I just think they're so, so cool. Uh, I've had them for a while. I've actually, I, I cleaned out my room and found them. So um, they're $10, number 41. $10, number 41 for the potato spears. <laughs> I just think they're neat. Oh, Cheryl Hoskins. I see Cheryl Hoskins for those potato spears. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. All right. Okay, I have um, two of these little, these little gold. Um, you could use them as makeup bags. You could use them for colored pencils. You could use them as an evening bag. Um, they're in excellent condition. Uh, very clean on the inside. They're like brand new. They're really, really pretty. Um, I have two of them. And they're $8. Uh, and the first two people to put in number 37 will get one for $8. They're zippered. Really nice. So number 37, $8. Disco, yes. I think they're so pretty. I like, they're like that, um, uh, what is the name of that company that makes those purses? I can't think of it now. But I thought they were really nice. Oh, I've never done baked potatoes in an air fryer, but I've done um, hard-boiled eggs in my air fryer. Whiting and Davis, that's it. That's it. I'm sure they're not Whiting and Davis, but that's what they remind me of. And I just thought they were really pretty, you know, for makeup or whatever, you know. So, but nobody else likes them but me. <laughs> so, we'll put those back over here. All right. I have a, uh, a book. Uh, they turn out great. They turn out great. Um, I just, as soon as they're done, you just put, um, put them in a, uh, an ice bath to stop the cooking for like, leave them in there for like 10 minutes and they come out great. Hi, Effie. Um, okay. So this is a Grimm's fairy tale book. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's very faded, but there's the front. Look at, um, Grimm's Fairy Tales, on uh, my air fryer. Hi, Cher. Hey, Book Bewitched. Yep, 
And this is from, oh my God, I hate Roman numerals. MCM XLV. MCM XLV. And it has tons of stories in here. Um, and it's in really excellent condition. The only issue was this one page that got uh, bent over. 1945, 20, 45, 1945, okay. Um, but look at some of the illustrations. Let me see if I can get you some. There are some colored pictures and then there are some uh, black and white pictures, but it has like, let me see how many stories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, $12, number 43. Oh, Cindy J, Timeless Treasures for number 43. I got you, Cindy. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. All right. Next I have still in the box a, a pair of gardening shears. So let me show you. They come in this paper package. And this is what they look like. These are roses on the handles. Very, very, very cool. Um, Hot Hammer Forged, made by Klaus. So, these are very cool. Um, I, let me show you the back of the box as well. Very, very cool. Um, these are $14, and they are number 45. $14, number 45. Oh, I see Miss Dana. Miss Dana. You got them, Dana. Thank you, love. All right. Uh, my next item is a lot of wedding, vintage wedding cards. Um, they are all written in as far as I know. Uh, I double check real quick, but yep. So we have this one. These are kind of like the parchment parchment paper this one is wedding wishes from all of us and they all signed it whoever this was from we have this one this one's really pretty and this one is written in as well
Whoa. This one, I love this one. Look at this one. Hi, Michelle. This one's a parchment one. And then I also saved the top of the box because I thought it was really cool. Somebody could use that, you know, in their scrapbooking or whatever. I know, they're, they're gorgeous. So you get the, the top of the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight cards for $18, number 42. $18, number 42. Make me a jewelry trade. <laughs> Cher finds for number 42. Thank you, Cher. All right, um, time for some glow. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of these luncheon plates. Oh my goodness. Look at that. As I said, there are seven of these. Um, there are no chips, no cracks. They're really in great condition. Um, the marking on these is a triangle with a C in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that triangle with the letter C. So I don't know who, uh, the cards were $18. Uh, I don't know what mark that is. Uh, but anyways, so they're all in really fantastic condition. What? Oh, just go on. <laughs> I know. I don't know. Cambridge? It's Cambridge? Okay. So they're Cambridge. Thank you very much, everybody, because I didn't know. Um, and like I said, they're all in excellent condition. And... You get seven of them. And you saw how, how nice they glow. Show you one more time. Stephanie said, hi, Jessica. Hello. <laughs> She's doing laundry. So you get all seven of these plates for $35, number 14. $35, number 14. I was going to do a rapid fire. What's that? Of t-shirts. Oh, okay. Um. When? You get a second. Okay. Jessica has some um, Disney shirts. So I've been going through things and most of these... I am somebody who as soon as I buy something, I take the tags off and wash it just because, you know... 
scabies and <laughs> other disgusting things. Um, so these have either never been worn or wore once. Um, if you guys are interested, $5 a piece. I will tell you the size. Okay. Well, what, just don't trip on the cord and you can... Okay, so nobody nobody wanted the the depression plates before I get up, and then Jessica's gonna just do a quick rapid she's fire. She's gonna do a rapid fire sale of these t-shirts. <laughs> so, all right, just don't trip on the cord. I'm gonna get myself some more water. Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> Um, okay, so <clears throat> the first one, it'll probably be easier if I stand. So I will, again, tell you if it's women's, unisex, and the size. So this first one is a women's racer back tank top. I bought it. I wore it one time. They've all been stored in totes. And it's from the Christopher Robin film. Doing nothing often leads to the very best of a something. This is a women's size, extra large. I would say if you want it to be what a racerback tank is, which is kind of flowy, I would say that this would be more fitted to a large. Um, so this will be letter A. Um, just in case anybody wants anything, you'll have to do okay. the paper. This next one is a unisex size medium. This is from the movie Inside Out. The price, they're $5. Yeah, $5 a piece. Just a quick rapid fire. Um, so this is from Disney Pixar's Inside Out. It says, keep it cool, bought it, washed it, never wore it. $5, letter B, as in boy. Okay, uh, Suzuko wants letter F, which was that that one? Um, I think it was just letter A, but either way. Suzuko, which one did you want? The tank top the, or? The tank top was letter A. Um, Christy Garza wants the inside out one. So just put like tan. Oh, okay. So nobody so nobody wanted the tank top, right? This one is from Zara. Bought it, wore it once, took a photo in it for my Disney Instagram. This is a women's size medium, but it's boxier, so you could probably do it as a large. It's not quite a crop. It's more or less like a belt, like it hits belt line. It's not like crop crop but it's like Mickey with all the um, different world flags. Super cute. Five bucks, letter C, as in cat. Hi, Kim. This one is new with tags. I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Bought it, never wore it from Box Lunch. Uh, five bucks. Letter D is in dog. Okay, Joanne Baber wants letter C. Okay, so just put Mickey World. And then the Kingdom Hearts one. Randy Heilman. Yep, letter D. Um, this was a unisex medium i don't know if i said that or not so if i didn't i apologize if that still works for you just let me know is that okay randy a women's medium no Will not women's unisex oh medium. unisex medium right. i'm sorry unisex tends to be a more uh baggier normal t-shirt size fit Jessica, teach me to fold like that <laughs> um i worked at the okay. disney store so that's actually how i um Learn to fold like that. But also Marie Kondo, if you're ever bored, YouTube Marie Kondo and her fo folding styles. This one is from a Goofy movie, which is one of my most favorite movies. 
Oh. Also bought it, wore, or sorry, bought it, never wore it, just washed it. Um, it says Hi Dad Soup, $5, letter E as in elephant. Um, unisex medium, sorry. But this one's kind of longer. Like you could definitely wear this with leggings. Okay. Um, Dandelion Desert Rose, uh, you purchased from one of my last couple sales, and I do not have your PayPal information, so I am, um, I can't sell to you if I don't have all of your information, and I had no way to, um, get a hold of you. Did anybody want hi dad? Soup? Okay, you're gonna email me. Um, um so Susical. Well Okay. I'll put both of them down. Okay. And if and if I don't get her information, then Susical uh can get it. This one is also a unisex medium. This is from Disney Pixar Wally. Bought it once. Wait, bought it, wore it once for a photo, and it's a very cute like Earth Day type of pastel one. Five bucks, letter F as in Frank. Okay, this one is a Disney store, women's. All right, hold on a minute. Robin Bowser said she put letter D in first, but uh, um, for, okay, D was up. Uh, sorry, no. Robin, on our end, you are quite far down the line. Yeah, it was Randy, then Susical, then Dandelion, then Southern Mermaid, and then you, Robin. Um, you need to refresh and just make sure that you're in live chat and not top chat. Um, okay, Robin? Susical F. Susical wants F. So just put, um, do you know who Wally is? He's a robot. It says, well, it just says Disney Pixar. I'll just put so just, Wally. Yeah. I'll remember. I'll put Wally robot. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. This one is a Disney store woman's medium. So I hate the Disney store sizing. This is meant to have a little bit of flair to it. Hi, Lori Lolo. <laughs> um, it does have like a little bit flowy. I would say for this to fit the way it's supposed to with a little bit of flair, that this would be better as a woman's small, not a medium. Um, but if you want it to be more fitted, you could do the, the, the medium for this. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, letter G. Five bucks. That. Letter G, five bucks. Pooh Santa. He's a cutie. Uh, Robin Bowser for letter G. All right. Next up is this Toy Story one. Um, I don't really have much to say about it. I liked this shirt a lot. This is a unisex medium. Five dollars. T. What? No, I'm going, well, okay, whatever. T. T. T for Toy Story. The letter T, as in Tom. Thanks. <laughs> Joanne. You got it, Joanne. Toy Story. Okay, I have one more. This is for Harry Potter fans. Bought, uh oh, Harry Potter fans. Bought this, wore it once to Universal. This is a woman's extra large. I would say that this fits more accurately to a, a women's medium or large. Okay. So this is Honey Dukes, the candy store. $5, letter P for Potter. P for Potter, five bucks. Randy, Randy girl. 
All right, and so the only other one that didn't sell was the Racerback tank top. If anybody's interested, I will show it one more time. If not- Just show it real quick. Okay. Okay, the last shirt that did not sell. Bought it, wore it once. It is a, take this side. Yeah, okay. So it's a Racerback. They're meant to be a little bit flowy. This claims to be a women's extra large. I would say for it to fit properly, it would be a woman's large. Let's turn it. It's Winnie the Pooh themed. $5, letter A. It says, doing nothing often leads to, leads to the very best of a something. And here is the graphic a little bit more up close, I guess. Okay, dandelion. Gotcha, dandy. Okay, and that is the... Winnie the Pooh tank. Pooh tank all right when i clean out more things on my way out of here i might pop back <laughs> in thank you very much <laughs> keep on keeping on keisha all right okay well you got to take those out yeah I will. oh okay all right i was just putting them in a pile for gotcha all righty well there was a little impromptu disney sale <laughs> All right. Okie dokie. Um, let me see. Uh, all right. I have an amazing Wexford candy dish. Let me fix that a little bit. Look at this gorgeous candy dish. I know Jessica has, she really, uh, her clothes, she, well, she, first of all, she's a big Disney fan, but, you know, she has really good taste in clothes in general, but, uh, hi, Lottie. So, anyways, this is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it is a very good size candy dish. So, it is, um... Six and a half inches in diameter, and it is, with the top and including the handle, it's eight inches tall. Um, just kind of give you, a, so you could see the top. So this candy dish is going to be $20, and it's number 30. $20, number 30. All righty. Oh my God, you could fit a ton of candy in here or cashews or cheese. <laughs> oh, Leona. I got you, Leona. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate it very much. Leona, she's my neighbor. She, she lives about 20 minutes away. 20 minutes to half an hour thereabouts. Yep, fairy lights. You could put fairy lights in there. Hi, winner, $12.99. All right. Um, next I have, I have an adorable um, set of these little ladies, and these are dated March 23rd, 1956. You're welcome, Leona. Um, so we have this adorable little lady here. She has her umbrella and um, a basket on her head. Now, um, she was damaged and fixed. And you know what? They did a really good job, I have to say. You see the crack here going across like that? So, it came, I think her whole, like the her whole top half came off and was re-glued. Uh, re 
And they really did a fantastic job, I, I, I have to say. So she does have some damage. But her friend, we have a blonde and a brunette. Her friend is in excellent condition other than crazing. Um, she has no issues at all. Would you look at those lips? Holy cow. Little heart-shaped lips and those little cheeks. They are just adorable. Yes, you, yeah, you could. You, it's, you could put a, any kind of a little flower in there. So... Uh, let me show you the bottom where the date is. Let me take the sticker off. How cool is that? 1959. So the pair of these are $18, number 44. $18, number 44. I know, they are so cute. Oh, I see Miss Susical for number 44. Thank you. You got it, Sue. Susical. There we go. I like the colors. I like the, you know, the, the turquoise or whatever you want to call it. Aqua. All right, I have to make some room here. All right. Um, next, I have I have some more um, Wexford. I have two relish dishes. They're both exactly the same, and they're both in excellent condition. I did not feel any um, any issues uh, with these at all. And I think they're probably about eight inches in diameter. Eight and a half inches in diameter. And as I said, they're both exactly the same. Um, here's the other one. So, um, I, as I said, there's two. So, the, the, they're $12 each. The first two people to put in number 19... We'll get one. It's 19, number 19 for $12. Alrighty. I just put a couple things up there, you know. <laughs> Went to Dollar Tree. Grabbed a few things. Um, a little sore. All right, so no takers for the relish dishes, correct? All right, I will put those over here. I love Wexford. I think it's so pretty. All right. So I have some amazing decorative plates, and I'm just going to bang them out for you guys. So I got myself a glass of iced tea, and I left it over on the counter. Pardon me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. That's better. All right. First, I have this beautiful. These are all hand painted by the same person. Uh, their initials are SRH. And this one is uh, blackberries. And it is gorgeous. I just love this plate. Look at that. 
How pretty is that? Um, it is eight inches in diameter. Uh, it is $12, number 22. $12, number 22. Then I have this one. Hey, Shirley Pearl. Hi. Shirley got number 21. Or no, what number was that? 22. 22. Thank you, Shirley. Next is this beautiful um, fall plate. Hello. With the uh, acorns and the um, oak leaves. As I said, they're all hand painted by the same person. I'll show you her initials on the back of this one. S R H. I think that's so beautiful for fall. Uh, it, this one is also $12. And it's number 23. $12, number 23. Hi, Cindy. How you doing? Shirley Pearl for number 23. Thank you, Shirley. This next one, I absolutely love. It is just gorgeous. And again, here are her initials. Look at this plate. Isn't that a beautiful plate? I just love this. It is so pretty. I love the way she did the snow. It's gorgeous. Uh, $12, number 21. $12, number 21. Cheryl Hoskins. Gotcha, Cheryl. Thank you. All right. Next, I found another one of these, and this is an absolutely beautiful plate. Um, it is Crest, Crest O Gold. It's made by Sabin, Sabin, warranted 22 carat. And this is the plate. What a gorgeous piece of artwork that is. That is absolutely stunning. Hi, Sally Koska. Just gorgeous. Now this plate is nine and a quarter inches in diameter and it is $14 number 20. $14 number 20. And it has this pretty design. I see Miss Linda. Linda Dickerhoff. Thank you, Linda. All right. Linda. All right. Hold your socks on, guys. I have this. This gorgeous plate, same person, SRH. Um, the name of the company that she painted this for, um, it says Made in Germany, and it says Holiday China. And I'm assuming these are Zinnia flowers. Absolutely stunning. My nose is running. And this plate is 10 inches in diameter. 
And it is $15, number 25. Aren't they gorgeous, Cindy? $15, number 25. Cheryl Hoskins. Hey, Jess. Yeah. Can you, can you just grab me a couple Kleenex? Thank you. And then the coup de gras is this one with the lilacs. And this one is not just a plain round plate. It has this gorgeous um, scalloped edge. And it is just beautiful. Same person, S R H. And you'll get the plate hangers as well. Yeah, here too. Now this one, because it's a little more fancy, um, this one is $18. And let me see, it is 10 inches in diameter as well. It's $18, number 24. $18, number 24. And Cheryl, you got it. Congratulations. That, those plates are absolutely amazing. All right, Cheryl. Okay. All right. I have another offer up, everyone. So, um... I have, have I done an offer up yet? I don't think I have. This is my first offer up of the sale. Holy cow. Okay. So if you guys want to refresh and, uh, okay. Thank you, Dandy. <laughs> I had your, um, your mailing address and everything, but no PayPal email. So, all right. Oh, nice. Those are going to look beautiful, Cheryl. They're going to look gorgeous. All right. So, the next the next item that uh, is going to be an offer up, it's a set. And it is going to start at $30. So... Let's do start and then $30. We have this gorgeous Fenton ruffled edged vase, I would assume you would call it. And it comes with two matching smaller side um, little bud vases. So it is the set of three, and it is starting at $30, and these are all in perfect condition. There's no issues at all. Um, so the bigger one is a little over five inches tall. And it is, let me see. Oh, I would say, you know, like three and a half inches inner diameter, okay? And these two little uh, bud vases are just about almost four inches tall. So... I mean, they're just, they're gorgeous. They are beautiful. No chips, no cracks. Um, they're, they're beautiful. So we are at uh, Decor and More uh, is the high offer of $60. So $60 is the price to be for this gorgeous set. Okay, Cheryl is out. Is anybody else out? Can 
because I'm going to start, I know, they're just beautiful. Okay, so, uh, they don't glow. They don't glow at all. Okay, Southern Mermaid is out. Sheila is out. All right, so it's looking like um, decor and more is, I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> so actually it is um it is Sheila Eistat with the high bid of $55. So decor and more if you would like this item you have to go higher than $55 because I just yeah you you did outbid yourself so you were at 51, Sheila bid 55. Okay, so now you're at 56. No, that's all right. Okay, so we are, uh, Decor and More is at 56. So Sheila, did you wanna go higher than 56? supposed to rain out, I guess. Yeah, it started sprinkling. Is it? I drove like an hour away. Okay, all right. So I guess it is going to be sold to uh, Decor and More for $56. $56 to Decor. Whoops, I can't type. Decor. All right. Okay. Congratulations. Decor and more. You got a beautiful set. They're beautiful. All right. Let me write that down. <laughs> All right, $56. Okay. All right. So, uh, let me move some stuff over here. And then move some other stuff out of here. <laughs> Making room. Okay. Making room, yep. Okay. All right, everybody. Just give me a second here. I'm trying to move, shuffle stuff over so I can get at it. All right. All right. That over there. That over there. All right. I am going to do this item next because it's pretty large and I... I need to get it off the table. <laughs> Large and in charge. Yes. So just give me one second, guys. While I do my shuffle job here. Pardon me. All right, so that'll work for now. Okay. So, my next item is this very, very cool, um, I guess you would call, I, I don't know if it's considered like a mid-century modern, but that's what it reminds me of, um, and it is this gorgeous um, vintage platter, uh, meat platter, and I think, I think... I'm not positive because I can never tell. I think that this all is, I don't know if it's plastic or if it's Bakelite. Um, but it also comes with this gorgeous glass insert dish. Um, it is made by In Inland Glass. Inland Glass. And this is what it looks like without the insert. And 
uh, let me s measure this for you. All right, we are, we're about, I would say, close to 18 inches long. And it is like 11, 11 and a quarter inches wide. And this is just a, an awesome piece. It weighs about five pounds, um, but it is a great, great piece. This is perfect for, you know, if you have roast or turkey or a ham. Awesome, awesome piece. Um, this is, I got the sticker over here, $24, and it's number 49. $24, number 49, for this awesome uh, roasting pan or dish, whatever you, you would call it. Serving platter. There you go. It's a serving platter. And I am going to put it down here. All right, next I have, these are really cool. These were somebody's um, home ceramic piece. And it is these salt and pepper shakers that look like little barns. How stinking cute are these, right? They are adorable. <laughs> Aren't they cute? And they're a decent size, too. They're like four and three-quarter inches tall. I know, they're adorable. I love them. Um, I don't see... They both have their little stoppers. The person put their initials on the bottom, DM. And they're just adorable. I love them. Um, these are $14, and they're number 32. $14, number 32. You don't see salt and pepper shakers like these. You really don't. I think they're awesome. Awesome. Oh, Jeffrey Ross. Jeffrey Ross. You got them. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. All right, let me slide these over here. I am so hungry. I ate no breakfast. What did I eat when I got home? Pork. Sandwich. Oh, I had a, uh, yeah. All right. Next, I have a beautiful um, blown glass. It is a... Um, Oh my God, I just had a Jack in the Pulpit vase. Look at this vase. I think that is so awesome. Um, the bottom. I love the shape of the bottom. Yeah, it is so cool. It really is. Now, um, the only issue it has, it has a little chip right on the very end of this point. It's beautiful. It measures eight inches tall. It is uh, $13 and it's number one. $13, number one. I think it's awesome. Oh, I see Myrna Spratt. Kim, did you get sick from your shot? Myrna Spratt. Thank you, Myrna. All right. Next, I have a set of Florida glasses. I got sick from the first shot, but not the second shot. Uh, 
Um, these are really cool. We have a beer mug and we have just a regular glass. And the paint is in excellent condition. There's like no, um, no paint loss on these at all. Really, really nice glasses. Um, there is no maker on the bottom. There's just a number. So I really don't know uh, who makes these. But I think they're so cool. I love them. Hi, Elaine Yarbrough. So these are $12 for the pair. And they are number two. 12 bucks, number two. For the Sunshine State glasses. Ow. All right. Okay. Oh, Jeffrey Ross for number two. All right. Thanks, Jeffrey. All right. Do we have pink depression glass uh, lovers out in the crowd today? This one, I still have some sticker on here. I thought I got it off, but I guess not. But anyways, I have this beautiful pink depression glass um, tidbit tray. Um, it has this beautiful handle. It's in really good condition. Um, it just has like some light uh, surface scratching. I really need to wash it because it's been sitting on the bottom shelf in my eBay room for quite a while. I forgot I had it. So I need to wash it up uh, before I send it on to whoever. Um, it is, let's see. Oops. It is uh, 10 inches in diameter. And it is uh, $14, number 34. $14, number 34. All right. Next I have, I have a beautiful pink depression glass cake plate. It has um, the cherry pattern. It's just beautiful. I love, love, love this pattern. I think it's so pretty. Just beautiful. Um, it measures... 12 and a half inches in diameter, including the handles. Um, but without the handles, the actual um, inside measurement is uh, about eight and three quarter inches. Inside is eight and three quarter inches. This is $16 and it's number 33. $16, number 33. I know, isn't it beautiful? I see Bergen Pines Liz for number 33. Thank you so much, Liz. I didn't even see you come in. Thank you. All right. Okay, um, next up I have, this is a really pretty, um, I don't know if it's a relish tray or if it's like for vegetables and dip. Um, I'm really not sure. It's so pretty though. It's made by Tracy Porter, hand painted Tracy Porter. It does have crazing as you can see. Um, but it just, it's so pretty. It's got like blackberries and leaves. 
Yep, could be chip and dip. You got it, Kim. Chip and dip. Um, you could put nuts here. You could put cheese here. You know, whatever. Very pretty. It's uh, 10 and a quarter inches in diameter. And um, I forgot to put a, um, a sticker on this one. Let me just find it here. Uh, la, 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 where is it? Oh, here it is. It is $14, number 35. $14, number 35. Bye, Cindy, thanks for coming. Shirley Pearl. Oh, there I forgot to mention Shirley. There's a little um a little boo-boo right here on the paint. Just a, a little chip of the paint came off. Not an actual chip in the uh the ceramic. It's just a paint chip. All right, Miss Shirley. Okay. Uh, that was number 35. Okay. I'm going to slide these on over here. All right. Um, my next item is this really cool duck planter. Now, he had um, some, like, paint wear, uh, so I touched it up with some watercolors. Tried to, you know, match it up the best I could. But he's really cool. Um, he is from 1962, and he is made by Anarcho. Um, there's his sticker and his stamp 1962 Cleveland Ohio he is really a cool piece um he is let's see how long is he he is eight and a half inches long and he is seven inches tall and um, he is $12, number five. $12, number five. He's got some cool hair. I like that. Effie Boyd. Hi, Wendy LaVon. Thank you, Effie. You got it. All right. There we go. Let's put him over here. Okay, so stuff that's not selling, I'm just going to put down here for now so it's not in my way. All right, it is time for another offer up. Um, this is like such a cool item. Uh, I'm going to start this next item at $15. Um, and it is this amazing pottery piece. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Um, let me show you the lid. So, and it also had a sticker that was on the bottom that came off. So I'm just going to leave it inside the pot. 
it is, let's see, with, with the lid, it is, it's eight and a half inches tall. And the opening is five and a half inches um, in diameter. And it is just gorgeous. I mean, just look at how they put all of that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. What an amazing piece this is. I love it. I bet you my aunt would like this, my Aunt Dana. Um, so the offer, the opening offer, I started it at $15, and I don't see any interest in this piece. Um, Bloomquist, that's what it says, I think, Bloomquist. Oh, I see Shirley Pearl. What, my cuckoo clock? <laughs> All right. Oh, Precious Lavender Buttons is at 20. Oh, here's the bottom. And it is, it is just gorgeous. I love this. Me too. I know, it's like Moriage. It's three-dimensional. It's awesome. It probably weighs, I would say, at least I would say probably four pounds. So, yeah, beautiful. Very talented person. Okay, so Shirley Pearl is out. I'm going to set this down. The highest offer is twenty. Oh, thirty dollars Oh, up there. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me put it down a little bit. There. There you go. <laughs> All right. Robin is at $32. Yeah. That's my, my vintage. Well, it's not a real vintage one. It's just a, 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 a repro of... Uh, what do they call them? Kit Kat or something? <laughs> Sue is at $33. Show it again. This is a gorgeous piece. Robin is at $34. is not it amazing? It's just, I mean, I don't know. There are some very talented people. Hi, Rose. Oh, you thought it was a microphone? <laughs> Sue is at 35. Um, I don't I don't think it's worth a lot of money. I tried to look it up. I couldn't really find anything. It is beautiful. It really is. It's just gorgeous. $41, Sue Golan Best. Aw, thank you, Miss Pamela. No, why would you put, I wouldn't put it in the microwave. Heck no. <laughs> oh, no. I know, it says microwave safe and everything, but uh-uh. No way. No. Lead-free, dishwasher safe, microwave proof, oven proof. $43 is Robin's at 45. That's, I think that's where the tag was. The tag came off the bottom. Great finds. How you doing? Sue is out. Oh, no way. I don't know. I have no idea. Two hundred dollars. Well, I tried to find it and I couldn't find it. So it will be my loss, unfortunately. 
Joanne is at 48. Bloomquist. Wow. That's awesome. Shame on me. I should have researched more. <laughs> oh, Robin is at 50. Fifty five for Joanne. It is, it is really gorgeous. I'm actually kind of mad I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> oh, you're tapped out. Yep, I know that. I know that feeling. Robin is at sixty. Sixty five for Joanne. I got to set it down for a minute. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to see my doctor at the end of the month um, to, to see about scheduling um, surgery. Robin is at 70. Uh, thank you, Maria. It is beautiful. It really is. It is gorgeous. 75 for Joanne. I'm going to set it over here for now. If you win the bid. I know, right, Joanne? I know. I wish I had a fireplace and a mantle. <laughs> Jessica's got a fireplace in her new house. Oh, okay. $80. Whatever. You could use it for whatever you would like. Oh, thank you, Maria. You know what? I just, I get lucky. You know? I just get lucky. Okay, so Joanne is out. So, it looks like Robin Bowser. She's in the hospital again? No. Oh, man. <sighs> Sold to Robin for $80. Congratulations, Robin. Thank you. I was wondering what was going on. I, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get a hold of her on um, Instagram. All right, Robin. All right, sold for $80. All right. Okay, next I have, this is really nice. Um, this would be great for anybody who has a sister out there. This is a gorgeous gift. It is a soy candle. Um, 3.5 ounce soy wax candle. Um, I don't know what the scent is, but it comes in this beautiful silver uh, votive, and it has all these gorgeous, like, beaded flowers and leaves. It's just beautiful. Um, it's made by Reflections of You, 2018. Um, I think the, the scent of the candle is jasmine. It is $12, number 10. $12, number 10.
Debbie Spilker for number 10. Thank you, Debbie. Um, Robin, who, who passed away, Robin? I'm sorry. I didn't, um, I didn't see. I know you said was, um, uh-oh, Randy. <laughs> Randy timed out um, Robin by accident. <laughs> oh, your husband. Oh, I'm so sorry, Robin. Oh. All right, let's lighten the mood a little bit here. How come you guys are hiding Robin? What's going on? Okay, we're going to lighten the mood a little bit with this guy. <laughs> You're welcome, Robin. Uh, we have a poop emoji cup, and he's awesome. <laughs> he is too... Yeah, I saw. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> I know, right? This is hilarious. Um, it's a dishwasher and microwave um, safe. <laughs> it's $8 number seven. $8 number seven. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. It's a great uh, cup. I'm trying to move some pieces over and make some room. All right. Um, okay. So. Hang on, guys. Just give me one second. All right, just trying to move over some pieces here. Okay, so that sold. Let's put that. I don't know if that sold. Did anybody buy the poop cup? <laughs> okay, Barb Lee got the cup. Whoops. Thank you, Barb. <laughs> Barb Lee. All right, um, got an itch, got an itch. Okay, next I have uh, read Lottie Ward's comment. Okay, where is Lottie? Can I chip in $50 towards Robin's purchase of the urn? Um, you, you absolutely can, um, Lottie, if you would like to. Um, if, if, um, Robin is okay with that, Robin, uh, Lottie Ward wants to pitch in $50, uh, towards the urn for your husband. So let me know how you feel about that. And while I'm waiting to hear from you, I will show this next item. Uh, this is a hand-painted Nippon, uh, two-handled little dish. It's very, very pretty. I love it. Um, there that is, hand-painted Nippon. 
And this dish is $10 and it's number 16. $10, number 16. Okay, Elaine uh, Yarbrough. Elaine, did you um, email me your information, hon? Okay, thank you. Just checking. You got it. I'm just looking how to spell your last name. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was doing it correctly. All right, so you got number 16. Thank you so much, Elaine. Okay, so did... Um, Hello, Soul Nate. How you doing? All right, so let me write this down. So we have um, Lottie for $50. We have Cindy at Mimi's Treasure Cottage for $10. Um, we have Linda Dickerhoff for $10, Cam's Follies for $10, okay, Cam, $10, and... So we have Cam, we have Cindy, Cam, Cindy, Linda, so that's the 80 right there. So, we have Lottie, Cindy, Cam, and Linda. That equals up to the, um, the $80. Um, so, um, Maria, if you would like to pitch in 10, that would probably pay the shipping. Or, you know, it would go towards the shipping. So, I'll put Maria in. Maria California Thrifter in for the $10 towards the shipping. Maria, $10. Was that everybody? Oh, and Tiger... Oh my God, you guys are killing me. I can't. <laughs> I, I got Cam already. So the next person after Maria, California. Oh no, Tiger. Okay, so Tiger for $10. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> we have uh, $100. So $20 would be for um, shipping. And then the 80 for the actual um, pottery. Okay? So that should be plenty, $100. That's, that's good. So the donations are as follows, 50 from Lottie, 10 from Cindy, 10 from Cam, 10 from Linda Dickerhoff, 10 from Maria California Thrifter, and 10 from Tiger's Timeless Treasures. 
Well, I tried to go in line, Cheryl. So I got Lottie, and then it was um, Cindy, then it was Cam. And then after Cam, it was Linda. And then after Linda, it was... Oh, doggone happy vintage before Tiger. I missed uh, all my word. Okay, I have an idea. How about if Lottie, if Lottie only pays 30 towards her part, and then I could add two more people on. How about if we do that? Because there's just too many, there's just too many people. Okay, all right, so this is what we'll do. All right, so we have, all right, I have, I'm gonna put Lottie down for 30. Okay, then we have Cindy for 10, we have Cam for 10, Linda Dickerhoff, Maria, California. Um, we have um, Jane from Doggone Happy Vintage for 10. Uh, let me see. We have Maria. Cam, Tiger, so that's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, Tiger, and then, um, and then Randy. Okay. So that's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right. No, that's okay, honey. That's all right. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Um, okay, so then I can't do any more donations because this is, this is more than enough, everybody. I'm sorry if I couldn't include everybody that wanted to. Um, I just, I, I got who I saw in line. So... That's it. I have to move on because I'm going to run really late. So Lottie, Cindy, Cam, Linda, Maria, Tiger, Jane, and Randy. All right. I got to move on, guys, because I'm going to run. It's, it's already five, uh, five o'clock. I'm sorry. They really are. Um, you you all are uh, some amazing people, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you're just amazing. That's all I can say. Pardon me while I blow my nose. My nose is running. All right. Okay. That's better. No more runny nose. All right. Moving on. Next, I have this really adorable set. This would be a great set for a friend for a birthday. Um, it is. <laughs> First, it is the cup. 
Um, this is so hilarious, okay? So, it says, at our age, swimming is dangerous. Lifeguards don't try as hard. <laughs> okay? And then, it comes with this amazing lady. Okay? Look how cute she is. And her sign says, honey, I come with my own flotation device. Yes, she does. Can you see that cleavage? Oh, my goodness. So, for the set, the, the cup and this little lady here, it's $16, number 36. $16, number 36 for the set. <laughs> Chunky dunk. Yeah, that's cute. Rose Spangenberg, you got it. Hi, Rose. When did you pop in? I did not see you. All right, Rose. Rose Spangenberg, number 36. Yeah, that was a cute piece. <laughs> All right. And I already did that one. Okay. Um, this is a very um, nice piece here. For those of you that like to decorate with uh, like suitcases and stuff like that, I have this really cool suitcase. It has the, um, these kind of latches. It's really a nice um, decoration piece. You could use it as well, you know, for to store stuff in if you wanted to. And it has these nice metal um, hinges. Yeah, it's really neat. Um, let me measure it for you. It's in really great condition. Um, it is, let me see here. Um, it is 16 and a half inches long and 11 inches wide and five and a half inches deep. So, um, I'm trying, oh, there it is. I was looking for the price. Um, it's only $12, guys, and it's number 46. $12, number 46. For the suitcase. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, let me see. For those of you that have um, a regular laundry room in your house, not just like the basement, it is. It's adorable, and it's only 12 bucks. Can't beat it. Um, I got this little laundry sign. Look how cute that is. I think it's adorable. Um, it is, let's see, 15 inches long by 6 inches wide. 16 inches long. It's $12, number 38. $12, number 38. Cheryl Haskins for number 46, I see. 
Cheryl's gonna buy the suitcase. All right, Cheryl, thank you. It is cute for socks. I didn't even think of that, but yeah, it's really cute. I just have my laundry is in the basement, so I don't have any place where I can hang it, you know? So, all right. No takers on that. All right, let me put it, uh, I don't know. I'm going to put it right over here. Okay. Um, do you ever wonder what the heck happens to your socks? Like, does the dryer eat them? I don't understand it. I really don't. There, there must be some, yeah, I got her. I got her for the suitcase. Oh, you want it, Maria? It is number, uh, where did I put the sign? Number 38 for $12. Hi, Mary. Okay, Maria, I got you for the laundry sign. Thank you very much. I told her it's number 38. Thank you, Sarah. Number 38 it is, Maria, $12. But I got you down. I gotcha. Yeah, tell me about it, great finds. <laughs> okay, now I have another offer up item. This is going to start at $20. You have an outdoor laundry room? Wow. Okay, we're starting this next um, offer up item at $20. And it is this gorgeous, blue carnival glass lidded jar and it's in excellent condition let me show you there's no um no cracks or chips uh no dean they're still available So this is starting at 20 if anyone is interested. <laughs> okay, so you want the plates, Dean? They're $35 for, for the set of seven. Isn't it gorgeous? It is just beautiful. Look at the lid. Gorgeous. And like I said, there's no chips or cracks, uh, no flea bites. It is gorgeous. Just beautiful. Yeah. So, so far we have Dean for $20. Anybody else interested at all in this? Beautiful piece. Uh, Sue is at 21. So Dean, uh, do you, you want those plates? Could you please let me know? And then I'll write you down for them. Elaine Yarbrough is in at 22. Sue is at 23. Um, I have that. I'm going to show it next. <laughs> okay, they're $35, just so you know. Uh, what number were they? I don't remember. Hang on a second. 
Oh, here they are. Okay. So they, uh, they're number 14, Dean. So when you send me your email, um, it's number 14. Okay, Elaine is out. So where are we? We're at $23. Um, yes, it did, Rose. Maria bought it. It sold. All right, $23. You needed something glowy? <laughs> All right, so we have Sue Golombeski at $23. Uh, so I'm going to start calling it. Uh, going once to Sue. Going, uh-oh. Leanne is in at 25 It is gorgeous. It really is. It doesn't, the camera doesn't really do it justice. I got to say, it's beautiful. Uh, Sue is at 26. $26 going once. <laughs> oh, Leanne is at 30. Um, I don't know. It probably weighs about maybe two to three pounds. I don't think it would be bad. I don't think it would be more than like, where Where are you, um, Pamela? Um, okay, Leanne is out. Sue is at 32. Um, I mean, I would say like, maybe $10, $12. I mean, really, oh, you're in Arizona? Yeah, I don't think it would be much more than $12 maybe. But yeah, I mean, I can see how much it weighs. Let me see how much it weighs, hold on. Um, two pounds, 10 ounces, two pounds, 10 ounces. So I was pretty close, two to three pounds, I said. So, all right. So we're at $36 for Sue Golombeski. Oh, Dean, I don't know. I have to, I have to weigh them and I'm just guessing. I don't know. I have to see how much they weigh. Oh, okay, Rose, uh, do you want the laundry sign? Because um, Maria has one that's metal. Okay, so Pamela 13 is at 37. Sue is at 40. Rose, did you want the laundry sign? Maria said you could have it. All right, I got you for that then. Uh, let me see. Okay, so that's going to go to Rose instead. Okay, Pamela 13 is out. So we're at $40. Okay, I'm calling it. Going once to Sue. Going twice to Sue. And we are sold to Sue for $40.
Congratulations, Sue. It's a beautiful piece. You're going to love it. It is gorgeous. Uh, let me see. $40. All right. Let me set this aside. Um, Dean, I would say that the plates are between two and three pounds as well. So I, I, I would say between eight and ten dollars would be the shipping uh, for the plates. All right. Okay. Now, this next item, I want somebody to tell me what the heck it's for. All right. I have this brown enamel. It's a set. It's a set of three pieces. Now, this is in excellent condition. Um, oh, thank you. Except for the inside has like water damage. I have not, I have not washed it to see if it'll come out. But it's like, you, you could see that, right? That white hazy um, on the inside. But the outside, I mean, it's only in the like the bottom like quarter of the inside. Then it comes with these two, they're flat on one side and then rounded on this side. And I'm just wondering, and then they fit, they fit inside of the pan. So is this like a dish pan and these would be like for the silverware? I mean, like, what, what exactly, I mean, what exactly is this for? Does anybody know? This one has a little ding on the bottom. But the other ones are in great condition. There's nothing wrong with it. A double boiler. I don't know. I really don't know. I was hoping somebody would know what this is but anyways i know that people really like enamel um a double boiler i don't know really a double boiler okay well maybe it is i don't know i've never um i've never seen a double boiler like this um, and I've never seen chocolate brown enamelware <laughs> I, that I remember. I'm just taking this sticker off of here. I'll have to clean it up. But, yeah, so I don't know. But, anyways, you will get the, the set, the three pieces, for um, $20, number 11. Three-piece set for $20, number 11. And I'm telling you, these are in, like, really great condition. So, I just thought it was really cool. Doctor's office containers, I don't know. No idea. I have, I, I have no clue. But I thought it was really neat. So, that's why I picked it up. But... Obviously, I'm the only one that thinks it's neat. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe. I have no idea. But they all have that water, that water line in the bottom. And it's all at the same, the same um, measurement, the same um, depth. So, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of neat. 
I Googled there is one similar for camping. I don't know. That's, I don't know. Maybe. No, there's no lid. Um, no. I mean, they could, they don't like a uh, hook on or anything. They don't hook on, but you could set them next to it. So, and then it's, and then they're rounded. Flat and then rounded. So, I don't know. No idea. All right, let me put this over here. Okay. Um, next, I have this awesome clock if anybody has um you know that rustic um decor if you have a cottage or a cabin or you just have um rustic decor this is a beautiful clock it really really is it is beautiful works just perfectly fine um this is on an angle because that's the way to keep the hands where they're supposed to be. That's why it's at an angle, the box in the back. Um, this is $24, number 15. $24, number 15 for this awesome clock. Oh, thank you, Tiger, for coming. I appreciate it. All right, $24, number 15. Elaine Yarborough, Yarborough, I got you for that one. Thank you. There goes my clock again. <laughs> okay. Um, I have this amazing, <laughs> this amazing peach pitcher. Look, it's a butt crack. I love this. I think this is so cute. I have one, but I have a smaller one on top of my refrigerator. But um, it's in really good condition. The only issue was it had a chip right here, which I touched up with some um, watercolors. But it has the leaves and like the twig uh, handle. Yes, yes I do. Yes, ma'am. Um, and this is um, made in Taiwan. It is, oh, well, let's include the handle. It is almost seven inches tall, including the handle. If I don't include the handle, it is almost six and a half inches tall. So, anyways, this is um, $15, number six. $15, number six. Yes, I combined shipping. Yep. So, yep, $15, number six. It does, right? It's a peach butt crack. <laughs> I remember that song. Yes, I do. Um, he's, I think he's napping. When I finish with the rest of the, the stuff, I'll, I'll get him. Okay. I have another 
offer up item. This is from 1997. And I'm going to start this at $12. Whoops. And it is this Coca-Cola. Angie Gordon wants number six. Okay. I got you, Angie. Thank you for letting me know, Cam. You're welcome. Angie Gordon. So this is starting at $12 from 1997. It's two bottles of Coke, which I'm sure you're not gonna drink because they're old, but it comes with the two glasses and the little tray. And I just think it's really cool. From 1997. And I don't see any interest on this piece. So I will just move on to the next item. All right. Put it down over here. Okay. So next up, I have this beautiful um, Indiana glass amber Handled basket. It is the Tierra pattern. It's gorgeous. It is a Nesco roaster oven lift insert nesting pans. I'm missing the lids. Oh, okay. So thank you so much for letting me know. Um... Thomas, what's uh, what's the, what's the twelve dollars for? Oh, the Coca Cola. Okay, I I didn't realize anybody was was offering on the Coca Cola. I put it away <laughs> and started on my next item. Okay, so yes, we are starting it at twelve dollars. So we have the first person to offer twelve dollars is. Sue and Tom. Is anybody else interested in the Coca-Cola set? If not, I'm going to sell it to, um, to, well, they're together. Yeah, Sue and Tom are together. So if th there are no other offers, then I'm going to sell it to, um, to Sue and Tom for $12. Oh, that's, thank you though. Thank you for, for helping me out because I do miss people, so. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna sell this to Sue and Tom for $12. Thank you, thank you very much. All right. Uh, Twelve dollars. Okay. Okay, so I'm um, back to this item. I have this beautiful amber. Um, it's gorgeous basket in the Tierra pattern. It is so, so pretty. Oh, does he? <laughs> well, that explains it. That's okay, um, great finds. <laughs> Um, this basket is just gorgeous. It is, 
uh, 10 and a half inches tall. And it is just gorgeous. I love it. I love the, um, the scalloped edging on the top. So pretty. Uh, this is $18 and it's number four. $18, number four. All right. Um, okay, next up is this awesome set. Um, with the nice weather coming, people are going to start having cookouts and everything. Um, it's this beautiful set. It's the ice bucket with the four um, acrylic glasses from False Graph. I can, I'll take it out and I will show you what it looks like. I can get the glasses apart. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. I can't get the glasses apart. <laughs> Sorry. I can't get the glasses apart. <laughs> They're stuck. They stuck them together. Oh, there, there's this one. Okay, I got these apart. So those are the glasses. And they're, like I said, they're acrylic. There's four glasses. Oh my goodness, can I get this back in the bag now? I'm having some issues today at my sale. I don't know what the problem is, but anyways... And then this is the ice bucket. As you can see, it is brand new. Hey, Daniel, how you doing? It is a really nice ice bucket, too. It's, um, let's see. It's about almost eight and a quarter inches tall. And it's about eight inches in diameter, and it comes with the lid. The lid is right here. The lid is also um, plastic or acrylic. So you get the ice bucket and the four glasses in the box, brand new, for $18, number 15. $18, number 15. Oh, got something in my eye. All right. Okay. Um, let me see. I have a couple of pictures that I would like to sell. Well, actually, I have three, but one of them is an opera. So let me um, let me get these out first. Okay, the first one is this beautiful picture of Mary and Jesus. The frame is beautiful, and it's in really good condition. And the picture is. Uh, 16 and a half by 11 and a half. Yes, it is just gorgeous. And as I said, 16 and a half by 11 and a half. And this was purchased in Okeechobee. The person wrote on the back. It's really cool. And it is a beautiful picture and a really nice old frame. Um, it's $18, number 
$18, number 48, for this gorgeous picture. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. All right. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay, um, Christy. What the heck was that town? Oh, Okeechobee. I believe it's, um, I think Okeechobee is in New York. No, not Artichoke. <laughs> Okie dokie, Artichokey. <laughs> Okeechobee, see? That's how it's spelled. Oh, it's Florida? See? I'm terrible at geography. <laughs> Okeechobee, Florida. <laughs> yep, uh, but, uh, geography was never my strong suit. <laughs> okay, so nobody wanted that one, so let's move on to this one. This one is a, um, a, a cross-stitch. Ring neck pheasant. <laughs> and they had it framed. It's behind glass. Um, I mean, you know, the, the, they, they framed it. They didn't have it framed. This is the back. So, I mean, you know, they didn't want to spend the money to have it professionally framed. Right. <laughs> so, this one is $14, number 47. $14, number 47. Okay, so I have a favor to ask. Um, Christy, um, Jackie, Crafty Jackie couldn't uh, be at my sale today, um, but she knew I was going to offer up this uh, next item and asked uh, me to find someone to bid on her behalf. So I'm asking Christy if you will bid on Crafty Jackie's behalf for this next item. Oh, Jeffrey, you want number 47? Okay. You got it there, sir. Okay. Thank you, Jeffrey. Okay. So this is the item, Christy. And um, I'm going to start the offers on this picture. I'm going to start the offers at um, $20. So we're starting at $20 for this next item. And here it is. This is an old one. You're welcome, Jeffrey. Thank you. This um, picture is in excellent condition. Um, it is 15 by 12. 15 by 12. And I know, isn't it amazing? Now, the black uh, around this part of the frame had a lot of like um, paint chips, so I filled it in. I filled in the black with um, a Sharpie because it was uh, all chipped up kind of, so I just tried to touch it up. But as you can see, it has all the apostles' names along the bottom of the tablecloth. 
It's just gorgeous. Nope, no COVID masks in that picture. That's for sure. Yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah, they had to worry about the Spanish flu, my daughter said. I didn't even see what the picture is, but I'm guessing it's oh, the olden. It's the Last Supper. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Soap. So, I see Deborah Reed at 22. 23 for uh, Christy. Hi, Beth. How you doing? Or not Beth. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Teresa. <laughs> right, incorrect. <laughs> she didn't know what the picture was I was holding up. 25 for Deborah Reed. Um, Christy, no higher than 50 for Jackie. Oh, leprosy, exactly. Right. Yes, this is beautiful, though. Like the frame and everything. Okay, Deborah is at 30. I'll show you the back. Here's the back. You can see how old that is, right? Okay, Deborah Reed is out. So we have uh, Christy at 30, 31, I mean. So $31. Is anybody else interested? If not, I'm going to count it. So we are going once to Jackie. Whoops. Well, not Jackie, Christy. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot type today. Whoops. Going once to Christy for $31. <laughs> Going twice to Christy for $31. And we are sold to Christy for $31. Yay! Jackie's going to be thrilled to death. Thank you for doing that, Christy, for Jackie. Thank you so much. She's going to be ecstatic. Hey, what's up, Crystal? How are you? TTFN, y'all. All right, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Soap. See you later, Soapy. Thirty-one dollars. Smackerels. Thirty-one. Thirty-one smackerels. Uh, Virginia says hello, Jess. Yellow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Next, I have. I forgot about this. I have another offer up. Doll hairs. Yes. Thirty-one doll hairs. See this? Master Wendy got it for me. Oh my God! How cute is that? And I knew I still had it, but I couldn't remember where it was. I mean, it's you. All you have to do is put it in um, a small pot with about this much water, mm -hmm. and put it on low. I just love and the it'll bottle. yeah, and it'll um, melt all that. It's cute. It is very cute. All right, next item. I am starting at $25. So let me type start in here for you guys. And it is the gorgeous lidded candy dish that matches the jar. And this is in perfect condition. I do not believe... Oh, it's all sticky in there. I got to wipe that. What the heck is in there? Wash it. I'll wash it. Um, there's no, uh, no chips. No cracks. 
Here's the beautiful lid. No, no issues at all. Yes, it is gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's all sticky. I got to wash it. I don't know what the heck is on there. But, I mean, if you wanted to, you could leave it like this. You wouldn't even have to put a lid on it. Or you could use it with the lid. So, starting bid is $25 for this beautiful piece. Um, okay, Myrna, thank you for coming. Uh, with the lid, it is 10 and a half inches tall. 10 and a half inches tall. It is, it is beautiful. Um, it probably weighs about three pounds, I would say. At least three pounds. So we have uh, Lottie Ward uh, with a starting bid of 25. It is. It's gorgeous. Oh my God, Nate. I found another piece of purple wedge wood at my estate sale today. It's a plate. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, oh, look. <laughs> Uh, Sue is at 26. Did you, Linda? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It really is. I love the blue carnival glass. Lottie is at 28. $29 for Sue. I'm going to set it down for a second. And while you guys are doing your thing. I'm going to move some of this stuff over to the other table. Pardon me. All right. Lottie is at 30. Okay, Lottie is out. So we have Sue Golombeski at $31. Okay, so we're at $31 for this gorgeous piece. It is beautiful. Trust me, I'm really not making any money on these two carnival pieces. Um... But I bought them anyway just because I knew you guys would like them. So, yeah. Beautiful. Look at that color. Just gorgeous. Okay. So, oh, Leanne. Leanne jumped in at 35. Sue is at 36. I saw these, um, at, I got them at Holy Trinity, as a matter of fact, and um, I said, I have to get those. I have to get them. <laughs> I just, they're so beautiful. I did not want to leave them there. So, yeah, beautiful. So, uh, Leanne is at 38. I'm going to set this down. Wow, I'm really lagging over here on my phone. I don't know why. Let me. You have the butter dish? Oh, nice. It was your grandmother's. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had some of my great-grandmother's things, but she died. My great-grandmother died two days before my 16th birthday. So back then, I really wasn't into that stuff, you know? So. Okay, Cam. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, Leanne is at 40. Right, you got that right. Okay, Sue is out. So it is looking like it's going to get sold to um, Leanne if there's no other interest. For, um, I always, well, 
I pressed the wrong button. So it sold <laughs> um, to Leanne for $40. All right, let me write that down, Leanne. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, it's over here on the other page. Leanne C. Okay. Um... Was that my... Oh, no, I got one more item. Oh no, I got more than one item. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hold on. All right, let me move this stuff over here. All right. Okay. Okay, um, next I have this awesome, check this out. This is so awesome. This very cool rooster, you can, they have it, this is how they have it rigged. They have this little hangy thing rigged with the wire. That's how they, that's how they decided to hang it. Um, so you could always change that if you wanted to, but it is so, so cute. And, um, I don't see any issues with this at all. I don't see any, like, there's a little bit of, a uh, paint, uh, paint chip, not a chip in the ceramic, just, a, uh, the paint chipped off on the very corner. It is, it's so cute. It measures 11 and a half inches tall and it is seven inches wide and it is $15 number 28, $15 number 28. I don't know who makes it because it's not marked, so I don't know. So, there it is. $15, number 28. Belinda. Belinda Carroll. I'm still here. We, we, yeah. <laughs> All right. Belinda Carroll for number 28. Thank you, Belinda. I think it's raining out. All right, I have a couple of books. I don't know if anybody is interested, but um, I picked these up at an estate sale. Um, so first, if anybody is a collector of toys or resells toys, I have this awesome book. It's from 2008, but it will give you an idea of like the stuff that sells, maybe. I don't know. Um, it would just be like a guide so you would have an idea of what something goes for. And I mean, it is tracked full of, there's 824 pages in this book. Um, it is $14 for the book and it's number 27. $14, number 27. It was originally um, $22 for the book. And that was in 2008. Um, no, I don't. Ha oh, did you? You missed the picture, Christy. Hold on. Let me do this last book. Oh, Precious Lavender Buttons wants number 27. Okay, I got you, Joanne. Thank you. 
The other book I have is for cartoon collectibles. 50 Years of Dime Store Memorabilia. And uh, this is really cool. This is a cool book. Um, it was originally like $16. And it has, uh, let's see, how many pages of, besides the index. <laughs> um, it has, Oh my gosh, the pages are not even marked. So I don't know um, how many pages this book is, but uh, this book is $10, number 26. $10, number 26. Okay, Christy, let me show you I have this gorgeous um, Madonna or Mary and baby Jesus. Isn't it gorgeous? Hi, Josie. How are you, honey? I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Um, and it is... It is 16 and a half by 11 and a half. And it is old, and it was purchased in Okeechobee, Florida. <laughs> Okeechobee, Florida. I, I thought it was Okeechobee, New York. What do I know? Um, anyway, if you're interested, it is, um, it is $18, number 48. Oh, you did see it. Okay. No, I don't have any other, um, like, figurines or anything today that are Madonna. All right. Um, okay. Um, I have two offer up items. Send the book to Michael Todd. Oh, um, email me his address. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I can't remember if I have it or not. Uh, so, yeah, definitely uh, email it to me. Send to Michael Todd. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. I have two offer up items left. The reason I'm doing this as an offer up is because I had no idea what to really charge for it. You're welcome, sweetie. Um, I'm going to start this at $15. Um And it is this uh, very cool pottery vase. It has a real cool ribbed design and then all of these cool drips. That's the only marking that is on there, USA um, 16. So I don't know if it's California pottery. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. That is a terrible thing, that fibromyalgia. Um, this is a really tall vase. It is uh, 12 and a quarter inches tall. That's the bottom. Yeah, fibromyalgia. Oh, my goodness. I feel bad for you, Josie. I really do. Um, so it's kind of like... A beigey peach color is the only way I can explain it. It's, it's more peach than beige, I think. But it's really cool. Um, I do have the, the fruit chalkware, but I didn't have it for this sale. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so I only have one um, interest in it, and it's Christy at $15. So 
So if there's no other interest, I am going to um, start calling it. Okay, so going once. Uh-oh, Denise Nasser jumped in there. Where'd you come from, Denise? <laughs> I didn't even see you. $16 for Denise. Yeah, it's. I'll probably do it in my next sale, Josie. 17 for Christy. <laughs> Thank you, Pamela. <laughs> You've been lurking. All right. I lurk too. I, I lurk at Alex's sales on Sunday while I'm packing all my orders. I watch Alex. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Sophie. Hi, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> Hi. Show, say hi to everyone. Say hello, everyone. I am just the cutest kitty ever. Huh. Yes, you are. All right. Hey, Hot Mess Vintage. How are you? Yeah, I'm running really late today. Okay, so we're at $17 for Christy. Um, if there's no other interest, I'm going to start calling it for Christy. So we are calling it. We're going once to Christy for $17. Going twice to Christy for $17. And we are sold to Christy. For seventeen dollars. Uh oh, wait a minute. There's that lag. Denise Denise came in right before my sold. Right, guys? Double check me. Did didn't um, Denise come in before I my sold in the chat? Hi, Karen. Okay, all right. So Christy, so Denise Denise uh, has the highest bid so far, uh, which is at nineteen dollars. So I have to keep going. So Christy, if you want it, you have to go higher than 19. Okay, Christy is at $20. Okay, we're at $20. Denise, okay, you're out. Okay, so we are going once. This I'm having deja vu. <laughs> we are going once to Christy for twenty dollars. Going twice to Christy for twenty, and we are sold to Christy for twenty dollars. Congratulations, Christy. <coughs> you got it. Uh, where am I here? Uh, Twenty doll hairs to Christy. 
All right. Um, my last item is also an offer up item, and it is really an amazing, amazing piece. Check Randy's note. All right, let me see. I got you, Randy. Okay, I got you. Um, okay, Bill Randy. Randy, that was very nice of you. Thank you, Randy. That was very sweet. Um, okay. So, we got that. That's all squared away. All right. Now, my last item is also an offer-up item. And this is a, an amazing um, piece. And it is this, look at this coffee pot, you guys. So I'm going to start this coffee pot at $20. So let me just do that first. Now, this coffee pot is just amazing. Would you look at, look at that detailing. Look at the feet. Now, I have the cord. I have the power cord for it. And this cord is in mint condition. There's no fraying, nothing, okay? It's in excellent condition. The only issue is I don't have the inners for it. There are no insides, no, you know, uh, to put your coffee. It would be strictly a decor piece. Um, I know Scott has one, but he uses his. Um, this would just be a decor piece. Now, I'm thinking that, you know, these are Bakelite and these. Yeah, it's just amazing. Such a beautiful piece. So, it does have a cord. It just doesn't have the inners. Um, this is the lid. That's a good idea. Yes, you could. Yes. And just look at, look at those handles. But there's no insides, Christy. You, there, you can't do coffee in here because it doesn't have the basket or anything. So I'm just letting you know that there's no way to make um, coffee. Um, I will give you the measurements. Let me get my, um, all right. So this is a 14 inch ruler. So it's about 14 and a quarter inches tall, 14 and a quarter inches tall. Oh, hot water service. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you could do that too. It is gorgeous. It really, really, it is a beautiful piece. Um, here, I'll show you the bottom. Let me take the lid off. Um, it is made by United Automatic Coffee Maker. Um, here is the information on the bottom. You might even be able to find the, the insides for this online, Christy, on eBay. Um, you know, who knows? So, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's stunning. The Stanley Cup trophy, I know, right? <laughs> I have the cord. No, I have the cord. I don't have the um, the insides, the basket or anything. 
I have the cord and the cord is in perfect condition. So we are at, uh, whoops, dang it. We are at $20 for Christy. Um, I don't see any other interest. It's just an amazing piece. I would just put it out for decoration. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to start calling it. Uh-oh, we got LJ at 25. And uh, DBBR4 at 25. Uh, Tippy Winks is at 26. LJ is at 27. Jeffrey Ross is at 30. Too much to ship to California. All right, so we have Jeffrey Ross is the high offer at $30. DBBR4 is at 35. Have you sent me your information, um, DBBR4 and LJ? Christy is out. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Jeffrey is at 37. All right, I got to set this down. <laughs> it is just absolutely stunning. Diane, Diane, you would have to email me your last name, Diane, so that I know. LJ40. Yeah, I have to have everybody's information. You watch me all the time? You have to email me your information, though. I have to have your information or your or I can't honor your your bids or your offers. All right, so Jeffrey is out. LJ is at forty dollars. I've seen you before, LJ, in um sales. Okay. Okay, so we're at forty dollars uh to LJ. So I'm going to start calling it. We are going once to LJ for $40. Going twice to LJ for $40. And we are sold to LJ for $40. Oh my gosh, it doesn't. Okay, congratulations, LJ. You got a beautiful piece right here. I mean, it's like immaculate. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. LJ, $40. Um, Cheryl Hoskins, if you're still here... You did get the Zinnia plate, am I correct? The, the Zinnia plate and the Lilac plate, I believe. Um, okay, well, okay. Um, for the first time in a long, long time, I have a lot of items that did not sell. So I'm just going to go over them very quickly. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to do all of them. Oh, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them. I'm just going to go over some. So I had this gorgeous amber tiara handled basket. Um, I would assume you could put flowers in it. Um, it's just gorgeous. Um, and it is $18, and it was number four. 
$18 number four for this one. Um, oh, thank you, Dollage, Dollage, College Death Circus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Christy, can you put the information in there for me? Um, how she emails me. If you look under Tippy Winks Vintage with the blue wrench, she'll put the information in for you. Okay, uh. I sure will, Dean. I sure will. Um, what else didn't sell? Um, oh, these beautiful, um, these uh, Wexford relish dishes. These are beautiful. I have two available. And they were $12 each, um, number 19, for the relish dishes. Uh, let me see. What else? Oh, okay. Christy got the pottery vase. Okay. Bill Randy. All right. Um, I also had this beautiful um, pink depression glass. Tidbit tray. Hi, Uncle um, Andy. Um, this is a beautiful piece. I see somebody for number four, Diane Carter. What was the number four? Oh, the basket. Okay, I got you, Diane, for the um, Tierra basket. Thank you so much. Okay, um, so this beautiful tidbit tray was $14, number 34. No cracks, no chips, no issues at all. Whoops, sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let me see. Then I had this really pretty little gold um, bud vase. It has that really pretty like optic looking pattern and the twisted stem. Uh, this was $10, number nine. Okay, thank you so much, Great Finds. Thanks for coming. Have a great weekend. Uh, let's see, what else didn't sell? Um, uh, oh, this awesome ice bucket set comes with the four acrylic glasses, brand new in the box, $18, number 15. Then I had this awesome um, vintage, uh, like mid-century serving tray. Um, it's got the glass insert. And um, this was $24, number 49, for this awesome piece here. And I think, I think that's all I'm going to go over. Um, oh, and I had the little recipe cards. This box of recipe cards. They were $8, number 39. This is what they look like.
Um, that's it, guys. That is it. Oh, Karen Dondelinger. She wants number 39. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, 39. Thanks, Karen. Um, I also had this vintage cork puller. This is really neat. It's $8, number 40. Um, the tidbit tray is number 34. 34. Um, this really cool um, cork puller. It comes in this um, little container. This is really cool. Uh, this was $8, number 40. Thank you, Pamela. Thanks for coming. Diane wants the tidbit tray. Okay, I got you, Diane. Thank you so much. Um, okay, and then that was it. And I already showed the these relish trays. I think these are beautiful. Um I know, right? It does. Vintage cork You you tried to email me? I didn't um I didn't get an email. Um thank you so much, Christy, for all of your help. All of my moderators, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate your help. You have no idea now that Jessica really doesn't help me. <laughs> um but yeah, so that's going to do it for me today, guys. Wow, I went over three hours. That's a long sale. You're welcome, Randy. Thank you so much for coming. I, I so appreciate all of you. Me too. I'm glad you came, um, DBBR4. <laughs> Thanks, Jeffrey. Hi, Lisa. I didn't even know you were here. The music box. Uh, you got that right, Pamela. The longest sale I ever did. Wow. Um, thanks, Dean. Thank you, Joanne. Well, now that you have my email again, um, DBBR4, Diane, <laughs> um, now you can email me about it again when you send me your information. Thank you so much, Rose. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I'll, I'll be spending tomorrow packing orders, so. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Josie. Hey, you know what? We all got lives. We all got things going on. We all got our health issues. Do you really? Well, thank you. I feel like I know all of you. I mean, my goodness, you're like my extended family. I love coming on YouTube and doing live sales with you guys. I love to, to sit and chat with everybody. So um, I got lots of haul videos coming, guys. Oh, and before I forget, I'm going to be doing like a little patriotic sale. You too, Lorraine. Thank you, honey. A little pop-up uh, patriotic sale um, where it's everything's going to be red, white, and blue. So I'm just going to call it my patriotic red, white, and blue sale. But I'm just not sure what day I'm doing it yet. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about it. Um, so um, 
I know. I love my cuckoo clock. Um, <clears throat> Bye, Margot. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it very much. So when I find out what day I'm going to do it, I will, um, I will let everybody know. Okay. All right, everybody. Have a good weekend, and I will catch you soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.